Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a wax collection inventory. So I really haven't done this before, I don't think, or maybe it's been a long time since I did the last one. I'll link it up above if I've already done it. I can't remember, honestly. But I did a huge fall haul of Scentsy stuff in the last few, uh, I think I did it last month. And I also did like a big fall Walmart wax haul. And I've picked up bits and pieces since the last time I've done a collection or showed it to you guys. So I just wanted to show you guys what I have in my collection, what I'm working through. Um, I keep a little bit of my stash actually at work because I have a little plug-in warmer at work that I use. Um, it's from the Target Threshold brand, I think. They still have it online, actually. I'll try and link it down in the comments uh, down below because I love that thing. Um, but typically in my office, I'll try to burn or melt... Um, kind of neutral scents that the guys in the office won't mind or something that's very light. So typically um, I'll do like the Walmart wax melts or something that doesn't really throw too high or like vanilla, coffee, like super simple scents. Um, but here at the house I can burn whatever I want or melt whatever I want. Um, but my mom is a little picky. <laughs> so but I'm gonna bring you guys downstairs, show you where I store all my wax um, in the house, and then show you my two wax warmers. Then we're gonna bring the collection upstairs and lay it all out on my bed and show you guys everything that I have. So the first spot that I actually forgot about is um, a new little plug-in that I got off of Amazon. And um, this is what it looks like. We keep it underneath this little like entryway table, but this is the box, I kept the box from it. It's pretty new. Um, I will link it down below, but I've really been loving it and I wanted something this kind of like mosaic glass to match my other warmer. So that's what I have um, in the wall right now. And then the other warmer I have actually on top of this dresser that we have over here on like the edge of our living room and our dining room. And this is actually an antique dresser that we found. Um, but this warmer is from Scentsy. I think it's the $40 warmers I want to say and I really love it. It's super gorgeous, but I noticed that it wasn't like super duper strong and I needed a little bit of extra help um, because we do have an open concept house. So scents can kind of get lost in here. So I have the little one going under there and then I have this big warmer right here. But I use the top two drawers, mostly just this drawer to hold all the wax. So I'll open this up for you guys. So in this drawer, I just have like some extra um, light bulbs. So it's not really any wax in there, but this is the drawer full of all my wax and a few cotton, ba cotton balls. Um, but this is all the wax that I own, but I'm gonna take all of this out and bring it upstairs, put it on my bed, and we can go through everything that I have. Okay, here's just a rough overview. I went ahead and separated everything by brand, um, but we're gonna start on the left with Scentsy. So pretty much this, these whole first three rows are all what I just bought. Um, but I'm gonna start off actually down here with the Halloween stuff. So first we have the Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween Town. I think this one is supposed to be like candy scented because it reminds me of Jolly Ranchers. It's really good. It's this beautiful, vibrant purple color. I've only done one cube in my warmer at work, but it's really yummy. Um, and then we have Nightmare Before Christmas Jack's Obsession. This is like a lime green. It almost looks like it would be glow in the dark, but I don't think that it's it that it is, but this packaging might be. Um, and I think it's supposed to be something along the lines of apple, but I have not melted it yet, so I'm not sure about that one quite yet. And then we have a hug in a mug, and this is supposed to be some sort of like hot cocoa fragrance. It smells delicious. It's just straight up uh, chocolate or hot chocolate. So yummy. And then these three actually came in the uh, fall trio. The first one is Toasted Acorn and Oak, and it is this beautiful, I guess like wood color, honestly. Usually I wouldn't go for something like this, but um, I figured in a, in a scent pack, I'd just go ahead and pick it up, but it actually is really nice and like refreshing. So I'm excited to melt this one. It's something like out of my comfort zone. And then we have Cranberry Pumpkin Spice, which I actually have going downstairs right now. So I have two cubes taken out, but it's just like this beautiful orange and yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm really liking it so far. It's just like a nice sweet pumpkin spice. And then we have Orchard Apple and Spice, pretty much just a spiced apple scent, just red. It's kind of generic, but 
I like apple spice scents, especially for fall. And my mom is very picky about fall scents and apple is always one to please her um, versus like a pumpkin she's not a super huge fan of. So this one I mainly got just so she would be happy with something like that. And then I got breakfast in bed, which is I believe like a pastry scent. It's like this um, burgundy color, really gorgeous. I'm excited to, um, I've only done this once, so I'm excited to do it again now that I have those two warmers going downstairs and see what throw I can get out of it. But so far it's like a really nice fruity uh, bakery scent. And then we have graham cracker crunch, which I've already gone through only one cube. It's just like the color of a graham cracker basically, but this one I've been told is really good to mix with other scents. So I'm excited to see what I can make uh, for like concoctions out of this one. So leave me some suggestions down below. Um, and then this one actually, I think is from this summer, uh, Perfectly Pomegranate. It's just like this beautiful red brick. And um, I just, just started melting this, but it's a really good one for this time of year. And then over here are some like more um, spring scents, but actually this one I picked up uh, during the summer, but it definitely is from last winter. It is Silver Bells. To me, it's, okay, it's a silver color, but to me, it smells like Sprite or like ginger ale. That's why I got it, but it's supposed to be like mint, um, but to me, it smells like ginger ale, so pretty excited about that, but this one is um, primarily a Christmas scent. And then right here, we've got Cocoa Lime, which I have used a few cubes of. It's like a bright uh, lime scent really good and then we've got the squeeze the day it's just a basic lemon scent bright yellow really good if you're trying to get rid of uh, odor in your house like if you cook fish or something and then tangerine creamsicle has got to be one of my favorites it's so yummy it's this beautiful light um, orange wax really really amazing I'm gonna save this for next spring it's gonna be so good and then moving on I have actually two from the Threshold brand at Target. First is Vanilla Bean and Amber, which this one's just a white wax, but it smells like laundry to me. Super fresh and um, kind of like refreshing. So surprisingly, I really love this, even though it's pretty out of my comfort zone. So I will continue to repurchase this one. I've already gone through one pack of this. And then we've got this three pack, that's Pumpkin Spice, caramel latte and vanilla bean and amber. I only have a little bit of the pumpkin spice left. I've already burned, well, vanilla bean and amber is that one. And caramel latte was pretty good. So this one will be finished up pretty soon. And then I have some Sonoma melts that I got on sale. Um, if you go to Kohl's with a Amazon return, you can get a coupon. I think it was like a 20% off coupon or something. So I even got more percent off of this one, but uh, this was two dollars it's the coconut sea salt scent it smells just like mahogany teak wood so good it is uh, just like a gray wax but i love doing this one in my warmer at work so yummy and then we've got fresh morning donuts which is just like smells like donuts it's just like this brown wax pretty yummy and then we've got the mango margarita which is like a really fresh um mango scent really liked this one i'm going to save it again for next uh, spring and summer and then we've got a few mainstays ones so the first one is crispy treats which is supposed to be like marshmallow crispies um but it's actually like fruity pebble marshmallow crispies this is so good and they have this in better homes and gardens as well but i just wanted to try it in mainstays because it's 98 cents and it's amazing and i have this one going at work right now and then we have apple cider donut which is also a really yummy one. I usually put these 98 cent ones in my warmer at work because I don't want them to be too strong. Um, so these are perfect for that. And then this one I, I actually got as a gift from my mom's friend, Salted Caramel Brittle. I believe it's from like Kroger or something. I saved this so I would use it in the fall because um, Salted Caramel to me is like totally a fall scent. So I'm gonna need to pull this back out and start melting it because I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and the rest of these, I believe, are Better Homes and Gardens and Sensational. So we've got Better Homes and Gardens, Orange Cinnamon Rolls, just a brown wax, really good. Also one that I got in the summer and saved for fall. So I'm going to start bringing this one out now. Really, really yummy. 
And then we've got lemon pumpkin shortbread. I'm almost done, I have one cube left. To me, it just smells like shortbread. I don't really get too much lemon, but it's like a nice sweet uh, bakery scent. So that one's good. And then we've got the banana pumpkin bread, which to me just smells like banana bread. It is so delicious. If you like banana bread, you'll love this. So this one's really, really good. And the last Better Homes and Gardens is in the new packaging. This is pomegranate and spiced cider. It's like this beautiful, uh, rich red color. And this one is really, really yummy, very spicy. Um, I melted this last night. My mom commented on how spicy it was. So if you don't like spice, you won't like that. Um, and then we've got some sensational. So first caramel apple spice, which is just like this red ground wax. I've only done one of that, one of this so far. Um, it's pretty good. It's really just like caramel apple. And then we've got Autumn Valley, which I have not melted yet, but it is this like beautiful green wax. I'm gonna do this one at work because it is, it's golden amber and balsam. So it is very like manly and masculine. So I'm excited to use this one at work and see how it goes. And then we've got Feeling Cozy, which is warm woods and crisp apple. This one to me smells like laundry. Really, really good. Another one that I have going um, at work. And then the last one here is actually from the Day of the Dead. Um, last year, but I found it during the summer of this year. So very odd, but it's this beautiful pink wax and it is galletas de calavera. So don't judge my uh, Spanish sugar skull cookies. It just smells like sugar cookies. It smells so good. It's delicious, but it always leaves a weird like brown residue. Like it almost like burns in my warmers. So that's a little odd, but it smells so good that it's worth it. So this is a really good one. I've been told it's like super rare. So happy that I found this one and I really like it. So that's everything for my wax collection. Can't believe that that's everything, but I have a lot to get through because I need to get my collection to a point where I am ready to buy for Christmas, which is gonna be super, super exciting. Okay, so that's everything for today's video. Just a little walkthrough of my wax collection. And yeah, I'm pretty new to wax melting. Um, I just started kind of in the spring of this past year. So this will be my first holiday season wax melting. I'm really looking forward to the winter time and all of the Christmas scents. It's gonna be so exciting for me to experience that for the first time. So let me know down below some of the um, places where you usually get wax for for Christmas time because I'm very excited. I'm gonna try and not go overboard, but I have a lot of wax already as you guys saw and I need to start getting through that um, during the fall. So. That's everything for my wax collection video. I'll probably update this again in the um, Christmas time with my new collection come winter. So yeah, that's everything for today's video. Um, if you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.